Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Charles here. This is not my normal, um, you know, my vintage stuff. This is also not a review because I haven't owned these things long enough to do a review. I guess this is more like a, a preview or something if I decide uh, later that I want to review these. Anyway, what do I have here? I think this is a good deal and that's why I'm showing you these things. I do like to go hiking, hunting. Um, I'm a very amateur bushcrafter, but uh, this could help me with that as well. Um, what are they? They are the Milwaukee. Um, these are made out of uh, goat skin. Um, it's not because I'm like a super, it's not, I don't really care for these stamps on there, the Milwaukee, but at least it's kind of muted, um, especially once you uh, treat these. Um, these things were $19.97 at Home Depot. It's in their, you know, their uh, Christmas set. And they've got at least two sizes. I know they have an extra large and large. They, they may have other sizes there as well. I didn't look because I, normally I wear large or extra large. So these ones have a 10 inch, um, which seems kind of weird to me. I thought large was a, a size 10, but uh, you know, whatever. They said it was extra large. These fit better than the, the large size, which were a nine inch measurement. Um, Let's take a look. These things are made in Cambodia, so I know like a, old, a lot of old timers might say, oh yeah, Milwaukee, uh, made in the USA. They used to be, but most of their stuff is imported either from China or obviously some other place in Asia. Um, there's nothing really bad with that, you know, if the stuff is actually good. But, uh, you know, sometimes I just, I don't like people that think, oh, uh, it's USA, USA. And it does not have to be from the USA to be good, necessarily. Um, to me, these things, like the, they look like they are made well. Obviously, once I use them, I will find out if they really stink. I will let you know as soon as I can. I like these for around the house, um, camping and things like that. So that way I've got um, a nice thin leather glove. I've had a pair that I had for, I don't know, probably uh, 15 years and they just lasted almost forever. I just didn't really take care of them. And that's why I decided I was going to treat these things. You can see the color difference. So this one, I used the Obanoff's uh, LP on this. This one, I have not yet. I did this about two hours ago, so they should stay this color now. So it ha didn't darken it that much. Um, I like this color because I have a lot of my vintage uh, leather stuff has this color and I like, you know, the, uh, the brown leather look. Um, it is trimmed with red. Uh, doesn't affect me that much. I mean, that's fine, whatever. Uh, it's got reinforcements on here uh, these things were very uh, supple and I don't know flexible I just wanted to treat these right away to get some more yeah who knows how old this uh, leather is and it's always good to take care of these things and I typically with my leather things I will treat at least every six months or more depending on how much I use them on my bicycle I'm doing that saddle every month because I'm using that thing and I wear them out and I want to protect it if you guys have any questions or if you think this there's something better that's very similar to this just put post it on there you know I'm always always looking for good stuff this may be one of them for you, you guys have a good day